Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sprecal gonna do the next step in my uh, Lufia 2 Ancient Cave run here. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we're using the standard party, standard capsule monster. And so far, we've got a red saber for Maxim, which is okay. And uh, that's about it. And a healing spell. Um, but we are a little bit higher level than uh, normal. So we're just kind of going to cruise through and see what happens. Uh, we're going to try and avoid some of these... Uh, some of these teleporters. Make sure we don't get back attacked. Let's start off, uh, we just finished the blue core area. Normally, uh, in previous runs I've been aiming to be level 16 at that point, and we are currently level 21. I'm hoping this will make us less likely to die to random, you know, things. That was totally on purpose. You can't prove otherwise. I t totally saw that crab. I didn't actually see the crab. Um, luckily, these are enemies that were okay fighting. They're not terribly hard, and they have a chance to drop an item that's actually decent for us. Uh, Brave is decent as well. Let me double check real quick here. Yeah. So we're going to give the Brave to Artie. Uh, it increases the Gut Stat. Gut Stat, uh, the main purpose for it, is it determines uh, how much IP you gain when you get hit. Um, currently, Artie's is very low. <laughs> he only has a 60 Guts. Uh, Dakar and Maxim are really hot. Uh, even Guy, I mean, they all three have fairly high gut stats. I mean, when your low is 90, you're doing pretty good. Artie's is a base 60, uh, which is much lower. Not an essential, but it'll make things a little easier later on. Normally, in these runs, getting this far down, we've had a deadly rod. Um, we ta I mean, we have a deadly sword we could equip Maxim with, but Maxim also has the red saber. I do have a curse lifter also. Uh, Guy is currently confused, which could be kind of annoying, but I'm not super worried. not really my powerhouse right now. That's why I've got Maxim in the front. Uh, I mean, it's still hurt, but it's not going to be as bad as if Dakar or Maxim. I think Artie actually has better attack than Guy right now, too. So, I've got decent defense across the board. Let's see, what are we aiming for? Yeah. Uh, there's nothing really new as far as items go until we get down to 50. So right now we're just kind of opening chests, hoping for uh, a Dakar Blade, a Deadly Rod, a, if it's a blue chest, a Gaty's Blade, and just see what we can get. Okay. I menu good. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take 
this slowly since there's a teleporter. I'll probably be feeding Sully pretty soon here too, since he's currently still in radisher mode. opposite walker. So I think... Yeah, I'm not sure that's gonna work. Hey, that worked out. I totally meant to do that too. Um, so yeah, we're getting a lot of mediocre gear here. Um, and there's nothing terribly exciting uh, as far as enemies go, because we're not really normally fighting enemies on this floor. So it's just kind of a as they come. Uh, 38, we're th past those crabs now. So yeah, this is the beginning of the assassin floors. There's three floors here where assassins show up. Uh, assassins are enemies that move very quickly. Um, they get, they can get up to three steps for your one on the map, and they just kind of s sudden and they track you down. They come right at you. Um, so you'll see me if I'm remembering to do it, uh, stopping at each doorway before I go in to see if there are assassins. Uh, so yeah, if the assassin, if there are assassins, they should charge at the door, and then if I see that it's a, a room that we don't need to go into, we'll skip it. If it's a room that might have the stairs, uh, we'll force the issue basically by running against the wall, seeing if we can get them, trick them into walking uh, sideways. That's a freeze bow. Um, that's actually one of Artie's best weapons. Apparently the crystal one's better. Excuse me. Um. Okay, well if that's not a sign that it's time to feed Sully, I don't know what is. Magic fruit is a, basically an across the board good item to feed capsule monsters. It always gives eight, regardless. Okay, so we want to start off with fireball. Uh, confused ball? No. Okay. Basically, we want to start out by feeding them very low-end items. Uh, these maces. Um, let's see, Rod is a level 2 battle knife. Battle knives are good. Rapier is not... Fire? Wires are level 3. Yeah, right now we're trying to feed them level 2 items first, because once you start feeding them more powerful stuff, uh, basically the lower level stuff stops being worth feeding them. Their palate becomes more refined, as it were. And, uh,. That's most of the low-end items there, and then we'll go uh, cloth armor. There's a bunch of should be a bunch of good stuff here. Want to say evening 
gown? Or is that a higher level item? I do still have to re resort to the chart for this one uh, most often. That's a really high level item, whoops. Uh, apron is a level one. Dress is a level one. Holy Wings is higher level. And Subtoga is higher level. Okay. So that was wave one. So now we go up to the next tier. Uh, with things like this wire. Uh, I feel like that should be on the list, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we'll just feed them two of those to reset it. Uh, the rod. Oh, we've got a bunch of these. Level ones to reset. Kukri. And Francesca. And a cemetery. Perfect. That puts him into tier two, which should be the uh, red cap. Dwarf guy. Okay, so now we want to keep going down this list for the tier 3 items while we're here. Uh, bronze, axe is higher, longstaff is higher, holy whip. Here we have, I believe, Toga. You can see there, that's just one dot now, whereas that would have been two dots earlier. And the reason for that is because we've moved him up to the next tier. And so all of the items increase in tier as well. So the trick here is, again, we want to basically feed him the stuff while it, while the lower level stuff while he can eat it and then go back through with the higher level stuff before we accidentally drive it up all the way vice players so three for him um, let's see hand axe Multi sword, aqua whip might be a that might only be a three. Yeah, cold drape here. Is that a lower level one also that I just missed? Yep. Thunder axe. That's got to be a four. Awesome. Sleep rod. We do have to be a little bit careful as we're going through here not to accidentally sell stuff that we're going to use. But most of the stuff should be okay. Uh, lock right here, just we. This is a bad deadly sword. I'm not sure which deadly sword is which on this list. Uh, we'll go bronze axes. Long staff. Go ahead and do apron there first to lower it back down a bit. Uh, evening gown is a level four. Soap toga is level four. So now my goal is just to get him up in range. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like 9 or 10 there. So I'm going to give him this deadly sword. Let's 
go to Luck Rapier. Yeah. Just get that out of the way. That puts him up to tier 3, which is the Titan. Or the Giant, something like that. Um, we're just gonna straight up go Holy Whip, Super Sword, Magic Fruit while we've got him. Because this is the third tier. There's only one more tier. So. So yeah. Uh, Sully now is a giant. You can see he's got a lot more attack power. He's actually kind of on par with uh, some of our characters. And when he does his special attacks, he's actually going to do a decent amount of damage at this point. Um, and we're, ha we're like halfway to the third tier, so uh, ideally we should be able to get him up the rest of the way uh, during this run. Okay, floor 40. Nothing exciting. Uh, I think we're done with assassins now. We didn't run into any. That's good. We'll still want to be careful just because sometimes it's a little bit off and since we didn't run into a single one, uh, sometimes it does weird stuff. Okay, that guy is a teleporter so we're going to kind of avoid that. Speed potion. Uh, HP tile, randomly generated, uh, very rare, and there are no MP tiles. Um, there we go. Let's see, Sully's just kind of not caring at this point. <laughs> He's still really slow, unfortunately. I'm only doing this because I can get in first. Um, these enemies are not ones you want to really want to mess around with because they can... I can't remember if this version of Hidoras do a area of attack or if they just get multiple effects. But, either way. They're, they're not something we really want to mess with too much. I'm not sure what the movement on those guys is, but that's weird. So we're just gonna leave. <laughs> um, yet again, okay, yeah, the stairs are there. Okay, floor 41. Uh, 41 is... Pretty, uh, I believe that should be the last music change until we get to the boss. Boom Turbine. I think Artie can use that? Boost attack and defense. We're gonna just kind of meander around here. Uh, nothing exciting on this floor uh, that I'm aware of. Or nothing specific, I should say. Let's see if that's a correct deadly sword. Nope. Just so I don't accidentally equip it. If we get another uh, magic fruit or something like that, we'll definitely bump uh, bump him again, or bump uh, Sully up. Or if we get blue chest items we can't use, like there's a lot of items that can only be equipped by selling. Um, those are really good um, items to feed him at this point. And then he turns into, uh, yeah, goes all Easter Island on us, becomes a giant stone head. 
It's pretty awesome. whole new twist on that headbutt attack he has. Um, did I totally miss that this is the green core floors? I did. Uh, hopefully we didn't miss any on the previous floors, because uh, yeah, we totally just skipped over that. Um, find at least one more. We're actually a little bit under where I'd like to be for this point. <sighs> now, let's just go ahead and see what happens here. If one round goes really badly, we'll see if there's a different way. But this party room looks like it's where most of the stuff on this floor is probably going to be. Probably going to have to already heal. Just refill everyone quick. No big deal. These guys aren't too bad, but they do get two attacks. Um, the only problem we'd run into is probably if they, like, both attacked the same person twice. Now we're not worried. And Silly does awesome. these particular enemies are, for the most part. We are starting to get to the part of the game where the enemies hit a little bit harder. Um, so we do want to be careful. Probably start healing a bit more often. <laughs> big thing I don't like with a lot of these enemies is that I can't get in uh, behind them. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh well. <laughs> oh no, guy can't use magic anymore. I'm actually going to pause for just a moment, and I will, uh, I'm going to have to segment this into two, but we'll jump right back in a second.